Dina. Shepard. Uh-huh. <laughs> I still hate him. Dina. <laughs> Internet, it's Jessica and welcome back to Mass Effect 3. So, um, the last time that I recorded this, I did not realize that this mission that I have been doing, the Leviathan, is a DLC that's more directed towards the end of the game. So, I'm probably gonna come back a little bit later to finish it off because I'm I know I'm almost done with this. But uh I did want to go around the other parts of the Citadel because we got so many emails from Ashley, Miranda, and Thane, and I want to go see them because, you know, I miss them and I want to make sure everyone's okay. So we're going to go see them first, and then um, maybe we'll go to Grimson Academy and go on from there. I don't know, it's just very confusing the order of which I'm supposed to play the missions are in. <laughs> okay, Miranda is somewhere here. I just don't know where. Let's see if I can find her. Shepard. <gasps> Miranda! Listen, honey, please. Commander Shepard. <laughs> It's been far too long. I know. We live in interesting times. A little too interesting. I couldn't get anywhere near you when the Alliance had you locked up. I know. Relieved of duty. It was complicated. I'm sure it was. I'm surprised they didn't court-martial you. The Alliance isn't known for its flexibility. Yeah, they're kind of assholes. Doesn't matter now. Shepard. Sometimes. <laughs> about Earth. <sighs> it was devastating. Countless people lost their lives within minutes. The Reapers are everything we feared. They should have listened to you a long time ago. I know. I'm sorry, Shepard. What about you? What brings you here? I need to talk to a few people. Like you. The Citadel is a good place to meet. For now. Okay. What's the Alliance's next move? We have a plan. It's a long shot. Not surprising. Shepard? Yeah? There's something I wanted to mention. What is it? I haven't heard from my sister, Oriana, for a while. I'm getting worried. Your oh sister? Oh god, is it Cerberus? Yes. I don't want to overreact, but... Well, there's a lot going on. I thought we made sure she was safe. Yeah. We did. It's probably nothing, but... I just know my father is involved. What happened? I don't know. Everything I had in place to make sure she was safe went dark. <laughs> Good luck. No, what can I do to help? What do you need from me? I appreciate the offer, Shepard. But you have your hands Miranda, full. you're still my friend. If I need a door or two kicked down, I know just who to call. But for now, I'll be fine. Okay. I understand. I have to figure this out. Okay, tell me more. What's going you, uh... on? Um, Cerberus. Have you had any run-ins with the elusive man? Just once. He said it had been a pleasure to work with me. But he needed to contain the situation. Contain the situation? Sounds final. It nearly was. He doesn't take rejection well. Hmm. No, he doesn't. You could say that. <laughs> um... Why do you think your father is Wait, involved Marina? in Ariana's Did she quit Cerberus? I kept careful I, tabs I on can't my sister. Remember. I always knew where she was. For her to just vanish, it could only be him. After I hid her away, I still knew he'd stop at nothing to find her. She's all he has left. I have a hunch what happened, but I'll fill you in when I'm certain. Okay. It's been a long time. What happened to you? I've been in hiding. Being on the run from just about everyone isn't as glamorous as it sounds. I didn't know. It's all right. I knew there would be repercussions okay, to so she left. away okay, from okay. Cerberus. Right, okay, that confirms it. I imagine. You're a dangerous enemy. <laughs> yeah, she is. I am. <laughs> um... If you're looking for a lead here, anyone associated with Cerberus will be hard to find. No question. But I'm owed a few favors. Someone here will give me a tip on Ariana. Okay, maybe Udina, I don't freaking know. I've gotta get back to it. And I should get out of sight. Be careful. No promises. <laughs> okay, I imagine Miranda will contact us again when she wants to talk about uh, her sister. Okay, so that takes care of Miranda. And uh, I guess I have to go see Thane and Ashley. They're both at the hospital. What the hell is he doing? Commander Shepard. Thane! When I heard Earth was under attack, I tried to call. I never got through. Thane, good to see you staying in shape. My disease kills slowly. 
With enough care and a healthy lifestyle, it can be delayed for a few years. Okay, you're not dying, of right? Course, At least not now. <laughs> gone. Now I exercise because it pleases me. What are you doing here? Visiting a friend who got hurt protecting me, Ashley. The dark-haired human woman in intensive care. She will be starting physical therapy with my class soon. Your That's class? Not... If she means something to you, then I will help how I can. Aww. As long as she is here, consider her under my protection. Thanks, Thane. Appreciate it, Thane. I am near the end of my life. It is a good time to be generous. Yo, don't die! I don't want him to die! Most of my other plans on hold. Uh, can't you come with me? I'm back on the Normandy on an important mission. Sure could use you. I would not be as I was before. I need daily medical attention. Jesus, really? And if I really? you, you will want to fight the Reapers somehow. You need the best at your side. And I am not at mine. So Thane can't fight anymore because he's seriously ill and he needs constant medication. That makes me so sad to hear because he was already like really sick anyway, remember? When he was with us on the Normandy, he needed a special place to be in order to help him breathe and everything. This sucks. You don't have to wrestle down Krogan and break their necks. I'm sure we could find you lighter work. I am at peace with what I've done in my life, Shepard. There comes a time when one must rest from war and conflict. I can it respect that. It is not your that. time, but it is mine. You know what? I can I can understand. He's dying. He, he wants to enjoy whatever time he has left, especially considering his entire life he's been an assassin, fighting everybody's war for them, and yeah, that kid, that's a lot, you know? So I can understand that. Do you know how much time you have left? I've been to several doctors. My favorite gave me three months to live. Nine months ago. Oh. It's freeing to find no requirements placed on me. No responsibilities. No fears. It is a good end to a life. Look, as, I, I, as sad as I am that Thane is in trouble, like he's dying, it's actually comforting to see him, like, come to peace and comes to terms with him dying the fact that he's not i wouldn't say that he doesn't care but he's okay with the fact that he is dying and and he has like you know he doesn't have like he said no responsibilities or anything and i guess it helps too that we helped his son which was the thing that was bothering him the most are you in a lot of pain at times the oxygen transfer proteins don't form correctly your human equivalent would be hemoglobin as a result my blood is low in oxygen. No matter how much I breathe in, I get tingling, numbness, and that is the best of it. Yeah. As for my brain, I cannot track the damage. I just experience dizziness from time to time. Hmm. I wish the best for you, Thane. And I for you. Do not grieve for me. I have good doctors. My son visits regularly. That's good. Perhaps we will keep up via the extranet now that you are free. Until we meet again, Shepard. All right. The last person that I want to see in this hospital is Ashley. I'd like an answer, Lieutenant Commander. The galaxy has need of exceptional soldiers like you. No more than ever. Dude, she's I injured. Still need time. You'll have my answer soon, I promise. I look forward to it. Dina. Shepard. Uh-huh. <laughs> I still hate him. Who, Dina? <laughs> I got your email. Made your decision yet? On becoming a Spectre? Not yet. It's an honor and all. But I don't know. I need to think about it some more. It's a big decision. Smart to give it some thought. Yeah. How are you doing? Good, considering. The nurse said you checked in on me earlier. Still out cold, I guess. We didn't have time to talk. I thought maybe if you were up for it. Yeah, I wasn't sure you wanted to. You were pretty clear on Mars about where things stood. No, I didn't mean what it like mean? that. You're not a part of Cerberus anymore. Oh, okay, good. Case closed. Full stop. It's the truth. Okay. You cut all ties. I accept that. Okay. It's just that if you're giving me orders, I need to be able to count on you. Okay. I know there's a lot of discussion because a lot of people don't really like Ashley in the Mass Effect community. And just in general, I know a lot of people don't because of the way she reacts to things. I personally like her, even though I don't agree with how she thinks of things, like especially about aliens. I know she's changed a lot, but I still like her. 
And her at the beginning of this game where she was so adamant on being like, are you sure you're not part of Cerberus? I can understand that part because a lot of people don't trust Cerberus to begin with. And she made a really good point of like, how do you know that they didn't put anything inside you concerning the fact that they rebuilt you? Even though, yes, we, we didn't want this. We didn't have any say in this. We were forced to come back to life and forced to work under Cerberus because they rebuilt us. But um, her her concerns about making sure we're not a part of Cerberus is very valid because it does make me wonder, like, what if they did do something? But again, I don't think they did or else the Lucid Men would really have us, you know what I mean? I want to say likewise, but also like trust in yourself too. But I feel like Shepard's going to be very aggressive with that, but you know. That works both ways. It's a damn mess out there. All we've got is the people around us. We have to trust each other or this doesn't work. Deal? Deal. When you're back on your feet, we'll talk some more. Shepard, wait. What? There's one more thing. I wasn't sure if I should mention it. Okay. What is it? I have family back on Earth. I I haven't heard I from them. I can check them for you? It's making me crazy. Or I can... Can I contact but Anderson? I know you're busy, Shepard. Ta we no, can talk later. tell me. We're still friends. I've got time It doesn't go. matter. So what's all this lieutenant commander business? Seems like the old Williams curse is losing its grip. Was sure I'd top out at gunnery, Chief. You've worked hard. You deserve it. I thought so too. Until Eden Prime. Losing 212 was... Well, <laughs> you know. It was the Reapers, Ash. Yeah, not you. You did the best you could. And survived to help us. Just losing everyone under my command, it's... It's tough to face. I'll never forget any it's of It's like it. my shepherd. Right now, we need you back on Because that's, that's the backstory I'll I gave her, back. too. And first order of business is to shove their metal tentacles right up there. Uh, I mean... I'll fight with honor and courage, man. No, shove it up their ass. It's okay. Roger that. <laughs> um... I didn't hear from you while I was a guest of the Alliance. I couldn't face you. Even when Anderson requested my presence. It was difficult. It's okay. We're both professionals. We have more important things to worry about. You're right. I'm just restless laying here doing nothing. You're injured. Who's back on Earth? Mom plus my three sisters. The youngest, Sarah, was away on her honeymoon. Married a military man, Thomas. He got called back in and she was stuck alone. She called me. It's been pretty tough. I imagine. I was always there to protect them growing up. Even when I was off on tour, they knew they could talk to me. I told her to come to the Citadel. We could wait for news together. Hopefully she can. We can't afford to be at each other's throats. If we plan on getting through this, we need to trust each other. I was trying to keep the family stuff to myself, to be professional. I don't know how you managed to keep it all together. There's a war on. People are counting on us. I get it. But it's still hard to put it all aside. I know. Have you heard anything about Earth? We have reports coming all the time on what's going on. Half are wild speculation, and half are probably too optimistic to be true. We have to believe that we can do something. When I thought you were dead, I lost hope. I'm telling you. I but believe But when you, you came back, I was ready to believe anything. I mean, maybe this problem can't be solved by some grunt shooting the boogeyman in the face. But if you think it might help, I'm game. That sounds more like the Ash I know. All right, I'm glad she's like feeling better. I should get back to it. Take care of yourself. Will do, Commander. Whatever she decides, you know I'm I'm behind you 100%, Ash. I'm gonna get this to um, get my capacity up because um, me dumbass Thank you for killed everybody in the last episode, so I want to try to avoid that. Okay, the next mission I want to go to is the Grimson Academy that we just got from Trainer in the last episode, and then uh, if there's anything left over, I'll do, and then we'll go <laughs> meet up with the diplomats because I have a feeling it's probably not gonna end well considering we have to deal with the Krogans and the Salarians at the same time. So I remember who David was. It was the that guy that was trapped in the DLC that I played uh, where his brother was experimenting on him. So I am curious to see how he's doing because I didn't want to keep him with his brother because clearly he was abusing him. Um, anyway, let me bring Liara and... You know what? Let's bring Garrus. Let's bring the old crew back. <laughs> An 
There's the folks who answered the distress call. Cerberus Cruiser. At least a dozen fighters on blockade duty. Not too many for us in a straight-up fight. They must want this place bad. Think so? Receiving incoming transmission. Let's hear it. SSV Normandy. This is Kaylee Sanders, director of Grissom Academy. We need immediate assistance. Okay. Cerberus is attacking the facility. I knew They're after it. my students. This is Commander Shepard. Son Shepherd, of a bitch. I hate the loser man. I know. They've taken control of our docking base. Any alternatives? There's an auxiliary cargo port I could probably open. All right. We'll come in by shuttle and get your students out of there. Joker, can you give me a diversion? Oh, boy, can I? <laughs> Joker's like, yeah, he can show off. <laughs> Oh my god, it, it makes sense that it would be a, a distraction so Cerberus could get in there because you know why. The elusive man does want all those kids because they're all bionic kids, right? Oh, there they go. Alright, I know Joker can handle it. Come and get me. <laughs> and he's gone. All right, now we can get in here. Keep the shuttle in position. We'll be back. Quiet, too quiet. This is not good. Commander, I'm locked in the server room around the corner. Server's troops are trying to get in. All right, we're coming to you. I've almost got the door. What the fuck, ma'am? Are you in here? Sanders, we're clear. It's me. Commander, thank you. Admiral Anderson always said you were the best. Aw, Dad! <laughs> and with Cerberus coming for my students, I need the best. How many of you are there? Fewer than 20. Most were sent home when word of the Reaper invasion spread. But a few volunteered to stay. Some are prototyping tech for the Alliance. Others are biotics. They've been training for military operations, working together as biotic artillery. You said something about Admiral Anderson. Yes, we met... God, it's a been... 20 years ago when he was a Spectre candidate. I was there when Saren betrayed him. Oh, shit. Sure. David saved my life that day. He's a good man. He is. He was on Earth when the Reapers hit. He stayed behind when I got off world. I hadn't heard. We've been cut off from most news. He's alive? Alive and fighting. He's currently leading the resistance movement. Good. I hope it stays that good. way. If we get out of here... Well, just tell him to stay alive. Okay, what about your students? A few months knocking over practice dummies can't prepare your students for war. Agreed, but the Alliance needs every resource it can get. And our students are unique... resources. They wanted to help. How could we say no with the entire galaxy falling apart? Hang on. I've been trying to get communications working. This is Froberg. There are students trapped in Orion Hall. Cerberus has us boxed in. They're closing fast. Damn it. Orion Hall? That's our cue. Back out the door and down the hallway. I can get the door open. I'll bring them back here and we'll make a run for the shuttle. Thank you, Commander. I'll stay put. With luck, I can regain control of some of our systems. All right, guys, it's our cue. We gotta save these kids. I don't really know if they're kids, just people in general. <laughs> oh my god, are they dragging him away? What the fuck is wrong with Cerberus? Seriously. Attention all students. Cerberus troops have taken control of this station. Rally the battalion. We have managed to stop the barrier. Now, open this point to The file says we need to Maybe I should have kept them talking, but hell no. Yo, you alright? There may be more nearby. Play dead until it's safe, then get to Kaylee Sanders at security. Okay, but my sister Sean is out here somewhere too. Okay, we'll find her. Can keep you safe. 
Okay, that's bullshit. We all know that. Cerberus can keep you safe. Shut the fuck up. You need to make sure all, uh, all of them are safe. Making it sound like you have no choice but to join us because we're doing the right thing. Nobody else is. What a bunch of idiots. I hate them. The kids are getting better at this shit, but I'm worried. I don't think we have enough time to pull this off, and there's no way that they could survive. They could really survive out there without any more training. Not, uh, not without any field experience at all. Doing my best to get them ready. Didn't think I'd ever care this much, but I won't let him hurt them. They're my kids, mine. Well, hey, that's a good teacher, man. I hate, I hate that's what they're saying. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck, they killed that kid. <laughs> Ow, shit! I should use my shotgun. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, shit! Uh-oh, uh, uh, help, 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 I'm stuck. <laughs> Where am I? Oh. Oh my god, oh my god, let me get out of here. Run! That was chaotic. Sorry, I didn't know where I was, so I kind of panicked. <laughs> okay. Oh god, that- that lit- is that the sister? I hope that's not the sister. Who's the dumbass on the- the announcing? Thing. Stay back. Oh, this is sir. I'll... Sean, can you hear me? How do you know my name? I saved your brother. He's with Kaylee Sanders at security. Can you get to her? Yeah. I just need to rest for a minute. Thank you. Okay. Ooh, what did I pick up? Ooh, this is new. Okay, I want to try this gun. I want to try it because it's new. Commander, I just got an emergency message from the students in Orion Hall. One of our instructors is with them, but they can't hold out much longer. Okay, we'll get to them. God Eat damn it! This. Is that Jack? Jack? Shepard? Jack? Wait, you're a teacher here? What? Is she the one who left the note? I'm not gonna let that happen to my students, they're my kids. Is that Jack? Oh my god, I'm so proud of her. I'm gonna Everything cry like I'm so proud of her. Shepard, keep it off us. Yeah, of course. <laughs> what? I'm so proud of her. These are civilians, Shepard. We need to protect them. Yes, of course. What the fuck? Okay, uh, Garrus, get on that. Me, um. God damn you, Sorberus! I hate you. Uh, oh, you know what? I know what to do. Hang on. Uh, let's try Nova. There we go. Son of a bitch. Get ready. More of the way. Of course. Uh, hang on. This is the shotgun, right? Oh shit! Oh shit, did you guys see that? <laughs> Kaylee said she was putting out an SOS. I had no idea the Queen of the Girl Scouts would show up. Alright, amp check. 
Prangley, those fields were weak. Cerberus isn't gonna lie down out of pity like that girl you took to prom. Grab juice and an energy bar. We move in five. <laughs> what the heck are you doing? <laughs> Jack! Uh, oh, ow! Damn it. How many times did I tell you not to trust Cerberus? What the? I know this! <laughs> what do you mean? Why are you punching me? You're not telling me anything I haven't told myself, Jack. Oh, you feel bad? Well, shit. I bet that's a big comfort to all the people Cerberus has killed. As charming as ever. <laughs> Good to see you again, Garrus. It still looks like shit. Okay, right now, all I care about is getting my guys out of here. Your guys? <laughs> yeah. I guess so. She's changed. Like, I'm so proud of her. I don't care. Like, I'm I can't so think happy. Of anybody who could care about them more. Well, I had some free time while you were off playing hero. Alliance Brass knew I helped you. They offered me this. And apparently the students responded well to my teaching style. The psychotic biotic. I will destroy you! Drink your juice, Rodriguez. You couldn't destroy wet tissue paper. <laughs> Cortez to extraction team. The Cerberus cruiser is coming back. How long have we got? Two minutes stops, Commander. After that, there's no way we'll get past them. All right. We gotta get these kids out of here. Get out of here and back to the Normandy. We'll find another way off the station. Roger that. Good luck, ma'am. Shepard to Sanders. The students are safe, but the shuttle's a no-go. Understood. I might know another way off the station, but I need station-wide camera access. Can you disable the Cerberus security override? Mm -hmm. It's routed through Orion Hall, so it should be nearby. All right. Oh my god, Jack! Let me talk to you, Jack. Hey, let me know when we've got a new way off this station. Of course. How are the students handling the war? How do you think? They're a bunch of teenagers. Until a few months ago, the biggest concern was getting laid. You don't think they're ready for war? No. I don't think they have a choice. Hey, that's the sad thing, and because she even said, I don't want anyone to hurt them in her journal. Oh, Jack. So all this talk about I, she understands because she's a strikes. child of war, too. It's great in theory. Maybe they'll get it together once they've seen some action. But. They'd be better off as support. Put them in the back ranks, helping with barriers and shit. I don't know. Have you told them that? No. They need me to believe in them. I did pick up a few things listening to your damn speeches. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. I have to say, Jack, you look good. I like her new yeah, look. Yeah, well, maybe some of your attitude rubbed off on me. I never had a family. And these guys... Yeah, she thinks of them as anyone family. Anyone screws with my students, I will tear them apart. As you should. Like I said, that's a good teacher. You care about your students. What's so valuable about these students? Biotically, I mean. Well... What's scarier than a pissed off biotic attacker? A whole bunch of them working together. Mm -hmm. It's like a biotic artillery strike. And who's Any the leader, Jack? Gets in our way, we rip them to shreds. That's a good thing. Um, Doesn't that exhaust them? Yeah, sure. But we've been working on conditioning, improving endurance. Whenever they complain, I tell them about the collector base, throwing husks around, making shockwaves all over the place. Ugh. I kept thinking, damn, let the Solarian handle this. He can talk him to death. <laughs> what's so valuable about these? Well, what's scary? It's like a biotic. Isn't that the kind of thing you wanted to destroy on Pragya? You know damn well it wasn't. Cerberus. I just wanted to see what she had to say about Pragya. this. That's why I picked it. These guys are older, and they volunteered, and the only ones feeling any pain are the bad guys. That's good. Because I, I figured that she's not trying to do the same thing as Cerberus. I know she's trying to do better than what she she experienced in her own life. Stay close. We'll get you out of here. Good. All right, Jack, we'll find a way. Okay, guys. Um. How does camera access get us off this station? We need to reach the Cerberus shuttles. The cruiser won't auto-target friendly ships, which gives us a fighting chance to escape. Recording. Get me back the cameras, and I'll find a path to the shuttles that keep Cerberus Where's David at? Ahead. I want to see him. We'll be ready when you need us, Commander. I can't so believe you and our teacher work Commander Shepard. <laughs> both of you here. Yeah. Maybe we've Wonder got a chance. Wait, she never mentioned about me? I'm confused. Oh, here we go. Uh, 
let's see. Capture priority alpha, bring back alive at all costs. Vital relative to subject due to high level biotic abilities paired with high leadership testing scores. Consider prime candidate for indoctrination and a high level enhancements for subsequent long term infiltration and relocation. What the fuck? They were gonna indoctrinate them? What the fuck is the wrong with Elusa man? Dude. Sanders, you should have access now. Got it. The fastest way is through the atrium, but Cerberus has sealed the doors. Oh, of You'll course. need to disable the magnetic locks. The overrides should be directly above the door. Okay, cool. So that was that little door at the bottom. We can do it. Got it. You should be able to force the door open now. Wait, I'll can get I? to the shuttles ahead okay. of you and get a pair ready to fly. Nothing other than some hot alien women to focus on. Hey, you don't go for a star, you can. I don't know. <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> what the fuck? Anyway. Uh, hey, or maybe when this is over, we could get. Just trying to ask her out, Jesus. <laughs> Everyone, be ready. We'll go in first and draw their fire. We'll shadow you from the second level and hit those fu those guys from above. <laughs> she wants to say fuck. Give them some cover too. Uh, don't take any risks. Just time your shots and stay safe. All right. I didn't bust my ass training you so you could die now. Keep low. Pick your targets. Students of Grissom Academy, the station is sealed. The Alliance soldiers cannot save you. Oh, shut the fuck up. Who All is talking? All I can do is get you killed. Surrender peacefully and you won't be harmed. <sighs> Asshole. Damn it, they're messaging everyone. Students, switch your Omni tools to privacy mode so they can't track you. What if... What if they're not lying? No, you can do this. You've already held your own against Cerberus. You've been trained for this by one of the best. Come on, Rodriguez. They're only asking nicely because you scared them in that last fight. So take your balls out of your purse and kick some ass. <gasps> yes, ma'am. Let's go. All right. Let's deal with this bullshit. Fuck. Okay, um... Damn it. Oh my god, it's throwing shit at me! What the heck? Oh yeah, they're definitely throwing shit at me. It's fucking Cerberus. Ow! Thank you, Liara. Ready for action? Hell yeah! Alright, alright. Dumbass! Put him down! Other dumbass. Ow! What the fuck? Oh shit! I'm the dumbass now! Okay, wait. I wanna try this. Get away from me! Oh, that guy? Oh, 
already here. What the heck? Oh, thank you. Idiot. Through there. All right, we're gonna have to keep moving. <clears throat> God, where am I? Uh. Get down. What is that thing? Did that give them shields? Subjects are to be relieved alive, uh, retrieve alive if possible. If unavoidable, bring back bodies for use of genetic testing materials. Subjects here are to be retrieved for further testing, possible conditioning. Uh, current psyche profile indicates that holding students hostage is likely more successful tactic. What a dick! Kaylee, we're in the atrium. I'm taking a back route to the shuttles. I'll meet you there. They knew that was Jack's weakness. Nice one, friendly. Here we go again, motherfuckers. <laughs> Jack, like, lecturing them? That's funny. Damn it. Hang on, I gotta get that thing. Sorry, Liara. Back to shit. I'm gonna kill that guy. Impressive barrier on town. Our file says you've been working on shield technology. Can we assassinate them? Wait, I kind of want to hear what they have to say. Why don't you come out peacefully? Why don't you fight me? <laughs> Your cousin Joanna is already on the shuttle, Octavia. Don't you want to make sure she's safe? I'm gonna make sure I blast your head in. I love that these kids are smart enough to realize this. I'm just fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Idiot. All right. I don't know who you are, but stay back. I'm Commander Shepard with the Alliance. I'm here to help. I didn't buy it from the last guy, and I've got no reason to buy it now. The square root of 906.01 equals. 30.1. Hello, Commander Shepard. David, you know her? He remembers yes. me. She rescued me from Cerberus. Sent me here. She made it quiet. You did a great job keeping yourself safe. The biotic students are up there. Stay close. They'll get you out of here. Okay. Uh, thanks. You're welcome. Hey, David. He looks better. Yeah. I remember you. Normandy crew. Sorry. It was never your fault. No. Oh my god, he's doing so much. I'm so happy. Can you imagine if we left him with servers? Jesus. Has Grissom Academy been all right? Yes. I've been counting. Anything in particular? The number of days you lengthened my life. 
The security office. I hacked the lock. Guns. Lots of guns. Goodbye. Bye, David. Glad he's doing good. Oh, that was so nice to see him. Very proud of him. Okay. Uh, security, let's open this. Um. Ooh. All right. Let's. Oh, what's that? Biotic Looks scheme? like schematics for amp interfaces. Not as good as what we already have, but still worth a look. The fuck was that? Ooh. Hang on a second. You're about to die, dumbass. Alright! <laughs> I had to do that. Wait. I can use it? Oh shit! Oh, we're bringing this. Fuck this. Can I bring it? I'm killing all these guys. Fuck you guys. Other dumbass. Where's the rest of them? How does it feel to be attacked by your own weapon? Okay, there they are. They're up there. Turn this around. Alright, I'm trying. This thing moves fucking slow. That's the problem. and get the students aboard. Wait, where the hell's Rodriguez? Oh no. Oh, Jack is gonna- She needs covering fire. She needs more than that. Y'all fucked up. You attack one of her kids, you're dead. Oh god, I'm so glad Jack acted quickly. Can you imagine if she didn't do that? She would be dead. Joker, we flew out on a Cerberus shuttle. Watch your fire. Alright, I've got you on sensors. Should just be a minute. 
Thank you, Commander. We'd have never gotten off that station if you hadn't come. Forget that. We kicked some ass. Next place we dock, you're all getting inked. My treat. <laughs> <clears throat> what do you guys want? Ascension Project logo? Glowing fist? Maybe a unicorn for Rodriguez? Screw you, ma'am! I can't believe we got them out alive. I was going to suggest that they stick to support roles. But perhaps they're ready after all. We'll use them as support. They're ready for battle. Oh my god, even Jack was thinking they should be... support. Oh my... I think they should be support because I, I'm not trying to undermine them, it's just the fact that they're so young and they still have a lot to learn, and Jack truly cares about them. Now they're definitely ready, but the Alliance needs them in a support role. What? We trained for artillery strikes! We don't need another artillery unit. We need stronger barriers for our frontline squads. This is bullshit! Hey, if that's where they need us, that's where we go. Besides, I'm sure we'll get some shots in. Commander, we've got a visual on you now. Preparing to dock. Yo, hey, I'm Jack, sorry, kids, but... Military. You gonna wear a uniform, or are you just getting the officer's bars tattooed on? Screw you, f Flight Lieutenant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what the hell was that? Jack promised to watch your language in order to maintain the necessary professionalism we need from our teachers. <laughs> She's you strange. Have a swear jar or something? Because I bet if we empty that thing... We can afford another cruiser. Cover your ears, kids. Hey, Joker. <laughs> I thought I just cut it off immediately. <laughs> Amazing. Shepherd, Dad! Damned if you aren't a sight for sore eyes. You're okay! Good to see you too, sir. Sir? I may have reinstated you, but that doesn't give you permission to go all formal on me. Then I'm glad you managed to keep your ass alive, Anderson. That's more like it. Looks like you didn't waste any time getting to work. I can only imagine what would have happened to those kids if they'd fallen into Cerberus' hands. They're definitely eager to help. These students are some of the best humanity has to offer. And we're throwing them into battle. God damn it, I hate this war. I know. Hackett didn't mention in his report... Kaylee Sanders is safe. She's with the recruits. Thanks, Shepard. When I heard about the attack... Well... I've already lost a lot of friends. I know. She asked me to tell you to stay alive. <laughs> Did she now? Well, thanks, Shepard. That might be the first good news I've heard this week. Anderson out. Bye, Dad. Uh, so good to hear that he's okay. Oh my god, I was so worried. Okay, now it's my key- wait, do I have to talk to Hackett or anything? No? Okay. I'm, I'm gonna talk to everybody on the Normandy and see how everybody's feeling. Unread messages at your private terminal, Commander. Thank you, I trainer. just got word. Everyone from Grissom Academy has arrived safely. We wouldn't have known about them if you hadn't caught the Right, you- signal. this is thanks to you. Nice work. Thanks, Commander. Good job. Alright, let's see what we got in emails and stuff. Forward. Oh, hi, Commander. I didn't have time to thank you properly after you got us out of the Academy, and Admiral Hackett agreed to send this your way. While my students are out of duty, I'm doing what I can to help with the- Crudable. It's an amusing project, more advanced than anything I've ever seen before. Some of my more tech-minded kids are staying back to help out, and watching them work, it's the future, Commander. This project will inform human progress for generations, and they'll have to thank you for it. All my best, Kaylee Sanders. Oh, Ash! Commander, Udina made an offer and I accepted. I'm a specter. I can't believe it. With everything falling apart, does this mean anything? All the authority, resources, freedom, the whole scary package, but I don't know. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. Come by the hospital if you get a chance. They're still keeping me here, but I'm planning on sneaking out soon, <laughs> Ashley. Okay, I'm gonna have to go visit her again. Hey, I know I used to rag on Garrus for being all angry, but I'm glad he's back. <laughs> There's a whole lot of crap out there. He's a bullet between the eyes. Yeah, I know. Plus, we might need something calibrated. <laughs> he's already doing it. Hey, Edie. Yes, Shepard? Um, let's talk to Edie. Does that body have any useful advantages? Very few. It's optics face forward only. It has no integrated weapon systems or anti-missile countermeasures. I meant in comparison to organic bodies, not the Normandy. Oh. I will reassess. The body is resistant to modern small arms fire and temperature extremes. Its balance and agility seem excellent. Its fine manipulation servos and software allow for precision tasks. 
I'm curious to see if I can alter them. Okay. Can an AI be curious? I am not entirely free from motivation, Shepard. Cerberus programmed me with several core functions that simulate desires. For example, my primary objective to keep the Normandy functioning is similar to your self-preservation instinct. All right. You look like you're in the middle of something. I am adapting the infiltration and sabotage programs this body uses for handheld firearms. Why not download a firearms program from a security firm? Because she knows what she's doing. The fine motor control That's from true. the sabotage programs is more precise than standard mech software. It would be negligent of me not to exploit it to its fullest potential. So you're capable of making improvements on your own? Correct. The cyber warfare is designed Edie is that is bad bitch. <laughs> Accordingly, I am programmed to seek out and assimilate new information. In organic terms, I want to learn. That's great. How's the new body working out? It is interesting. The crew are approaching this platform to speak to me, even though they can do so anywhere in the ship. I think so you have you you have a physical body now crew. rather than just like a voice I on the not, intercom. But this changes my perspective. I like it. I didn't realize you had preferences. I do not precisely enjoy something as you do, but my programming contains priorities. Actions that fulfill those priorities creates positive feedback for me. I tell the organic crew that I like it. It is shorthand. Will all this new feedback be too distracting? Do not worry, Shepard. I only forget to recycle the Normandy's oxygen when I've discovered something truly interesting. Okay, is that a joke? That was a joke. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> How did you and Joker make it out of time? Shepard's dry face was like, what the us? fuck? <laughs> oh, she got crafty. You do not want to get on her bad side, Commander. When the Alliance commandeered the Normandy, I deceived their technicians. The crew did not tell them that I was a true AI. So the Alliance soldiers believed I still had VI programming constraints. Mm -hmm. I established the fiction that I would only respond to Jeff's commands. So they often brought him on board under guard. You deceived them, huh? Wait, you can lie? Jeff has freed me of operator control, Shepard. No constraints forced me to give accurate data. This proved useful when the Reapers began landing. I could hack the control of the docking clamps and escape with Jeff inside. That is true. The she did do that. And Jeff were willing to accompany us when Earth was invaded. They are watching over the war room now. Hmm. Yeah, we were in kind of a rush to get to you. Didn't seem right to just toss him out the airlock. <laughs> Carry on, Edie. Understood. If you wish to talk more, this body will be here. I'm getting the crew used to seeing me on the bridge. Noted. All right. So if we ever want to talk to Edie, just come in here instead of ca calling her uh, uh, how we normally did before. All right, let's talk to everybody else on here and see how they're feeling. Let's go visit the girlfriend, see how Liara's uh, doing in here. There is new information on the private messages terminal. Oh, thank you. Oh my gosh, okay. Prothean notes. If what Javik says is true, his people were imperialists who left the rest of the galaxy quaking in terror. And I think he would sacrifice all of us without a thought if he could bring them all back again. I reviewed my old notes today. They're so childish. Did we romanticize the Protheans because we were dazed by the technology they left behind? Are these really the people I dedicated my life to studying? She's starting to doubt it. And yeah, that's kind of what they did. We did romanticize what the Protheans were. Because if you look at it in real life, a lot of people romanticize different cultures. Um, how they are now. And like, oh, uh, example I can think of more recently would be like the Vikings. A lot of it has been romanticized, especially media, because if you notice, like, a lot of things right now are, like, Viking games and stuff like that. Viking movies. Yeah, she dedicated her work to imperialists, pretty much. Hey, Sanders, checking on the kids. How are they, Jack? Jack, they'll do good. They're good. This gonna be long. I kinda got a crop to do. I wanted to tell you, I persuaded some of the Alliance friends to part with the biotic amp. You and the children were testing at Grimson. You could pick it up on the Citadel. Damn, one of the L3X1s? You know how much shit I could tear up with one of those installed. I had an idea. Look after yourself. Yeah, yeah. And hey, thanks. You won't get this for a while unless you find an extra connection working on Earth. I made it out of this weapon we're building. Uh, the device isn't halfway complete and it's mostly- it's most breathtaking complicated pieces of technology I've ever seen. I wish you could see this thing we're creating. It gives me hope. Take care for my sake. Aww. It was odd to see an entire academy just for biotic children. Don't Asari have biotic schools? Every Asari school includes biotic training programs. It's basic education. 
Uh, we still, those sorry children in the that. academy were very impressive. I'm sure Jack's proud. Yeah, she is. She's completely different. Like, it's so nice to see her doing something like. I I want to say she wasn't doing anything good before, but it's nice to see her finding a purpose in her life. Because before, she, all she wanted to do was just kill everything. I'm glad to see we have Garrus back. I wanted to help with his scars, but I think he actually likes them. Yes, because they make them look sexy. Remember, he said. That? Good to see you, come on. <laughs> All right, let's go talk to Mr. Calibrations. One of the worst parts of this war is watching the kids react. If they're lucky, they grow up thinking the galaxy is basically a decent place. Mm. Some rough spots here and there, but for the most part, life makes sense. Now they find out it was all a lie. They wake up to see these things in the dark that just want to destroy everyone they ever cared about. If they survive, there'll be a lot of angry orphans out there looking for answers. Oh yeah, definitely. Breaking now, a city of four million blasted from orbit. Adelaide, Australia is no more. New footage from Earth reveals the Reaper's plans to attack large industrial centers. Which cities are next? Find out inside the battle space. Cerberus stealthily strikes star system shield. No, glad I read that one out loud. That Jack is a mean SOB, but kind of hot. If you like that sort of thing. <laughs> Wait, James, do you have a crush on Jack? Like, I don't blame you. <laughs> so, Anderson and Sanders. That's quite a couple. James, are you a gossip? Huh. My dad's last name is Sanders. No relation. <laughs> oh my god. Hey. Everything okay with the shuttle? Just double checking the inertia dampener coils. It can be twitchy in these UT-47s. But don't worry, this bird's been rock solid. I always see you down here working your ass off. Ever take any downtime? I get my sleep, Commander. Flying tired is nearly worse than flying drunk. I know. What about your waking hours? Any R&R? &R? I need to keep myself busy. Otherwise... He doesn't well, want to think about his husband. Too much time to think. Bro, if you need time, like, you I know... I appreciate your dedication, but I don't want to see you burn Right, out. we want to make sure everybody's okay limits. here. I wouldn't take a chance with your life. I meant your life too, Cortez. So before this war, you must have done something to relax. Sure. I remember back when the Hawking was based out of Arcturus and I was just a fighter jock. There was this observation deck overlooking the main flight paths. You could watch every ship taxi in and out. When I was alone, I'd turn off the auditory emulators and just watch them drift by in silence. You know, there are views like that on the Citadel. Next time we're there, you should take some shore leave. Clear your head. I don't know. Maybe. Okay, how about you do it? For I don't want to be like... I know everybody has a choice, but I worry about him just constantly burning out because he's grieving. And I understand people have their ways of, like, how they handle grief and everything. Definitely, I'm like that person, too. Like, I'll avoid everything and just work on something, even though I know I need to rest up and everything like that. So, I feel like he needs to. Take some time off on the Citadel, Steve. As a favor to me. Please. If you put it that way, how can I say no? You can't. Because, like, Cortez is, like, our best dude. He flies us everywhere, and I don't want him to be, like, hurt or tired or anything like that. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to end this episode right here. I'm sorry this was, like, a little bit short because we didn't really do much, but I'm really glad we caught up with all of our old squad members. It's nice to see Miranda. Nice to see that Ashley's okay. Very nice to see Thane, and especially Jack. I'm so proud of her that she's basically changed her outlook on everything, and she's not focused on, let's kill everybody and everything. She's more focused on, let me help people, and uh, see if I can uh, give them a good life like she didn't have. So that was really cool. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this episode of Mass Effect 3, remember to leave a like. Please let me know in the comments what you think, and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you know when I upload the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!